All right. Uh, from your lead story in today's Observer, John Laurinaitis has flipped and is now on Vince's side of this uh, this lawsuit here. Yeah. Um, you know, everyone knows, and I wasn't I wasn't surprised. Um, I always knew it was a possibility. He's going to do whatever it is to save him. And I think from from his standpoint, from a financial standpoint, the arbitration thing is a whole lot better than the. Uh, idea of maybe having to go to trial even though i don't expect this will ever go to trial but it's it's certainly better for him and um so so for him to favor arbitration as opposed to try to get you know i'm sure that he his goal was to get out of the case by you know indicating that that he would be with her and maybe they didn't let him out of the case i you know i don't know all the different ways this all went down but they were kissing up to ann callis and then they did this so that which was anything but that and um you know so um, but you know the, the the thing is is that when they filed the suit um their expectation had to be that john laurinitis and vince mcmahon were going to stick together so when it didn't happen it probably surprised everyone and now so now it's back to where where we expected it would be where you know on january 25th when the lawsuit was filed so it's not really anything that um from that standpoint changes you know like it's a swerve that threw them off they didn't expect i don't think that they expect they wouldn't have sued laurenitis they probably didn't really trust it either um yeah probably not and, and probably shouldn't have yeah <laughs> so um and that because that was my first thing and i know this is just the court of public opinion but my first thought was when I saw that Laurinaitis flipped, I was like, it just makes the whole thing seem even more preposterous. Like the 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 way that the statements that Vince has made. I mentioned this last week. How how can we believe anything this guy is saying based off of what he said in the past? And then you add the flipping, and it makes their side look like just a bunch of liars and con men to me. Well, the the, the idea is is that they want every you know every it to be a battle of liars and con men. In which case, if it's a battle, you know, with her in one of them, if it's a battle of liars and con men, and it's all muddied up, then there's no good guy. And if there's no good guy, then she doesn't get the sympathy. You know, yes. Vince Vince already has you know whatever. I mean, it's you know um, we'll have to see. You know, I mean the. the We'll have to see what the judge rules as far as the arbitration aspect. Um, and from there, you know, um, WWE is going to do, you know, they have to give it their statement. But I'd never expected anything in the WWE statement to be anything more than, you know, why us? You know what I mean? It's like, you know, we, you know, you know, it was like, um, we'll see. We'll see what their statement is. But obviously, they're not going to go against Vince. But I don't think that they're going to go. I don't going to run towards Vince either. I think that they're going to try to be WWE's thing is, is is their goal will probably be in their statements is to disassociate themselves as much as possible. Lauren Itis can't do that because he's mentioned, you know, I mean, you know, he's mentioned in a lot worse way than than any WWE other WWE executives that aren't named individually are are mentioned. So um I think that's what their thing is is to just you know, try to say like you know, we didn't know anything, you know, and 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 Hopefully that that they're not on the hook for something, you know, and, you know, they may want to, you know, they we've already seen with them, you know, both the MLW with the MLW case in particular, they'll, they'll settle, you know, in the UFC case, you know, they settled for a lot. We still have to wait, you know, and, until um, we're still not at that at that 90 day point where we really get all the details of that UFC case and why it was settled and all that everyone's still quiet on that one but that's that's actually a pretty big story um hopefully if the details come out and the lawyers can talk because the lawyers can't talk yet the big rumors around wrestlemania and las vegas i've been getting pinged from people left and right saying i'm booking my hotel now it's not a done deal but I think it's, it's not gonna a, happen. It's, it's not a done deal. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm 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 pretty sure it's going to be Vegas. As far as the date, um, I'm not sure of the date. I've heard two different dates, so I don't think that anything's 100. percent You know, um, and they, you know, again, I thought it would be announced this week, and it still hasn't been announced. People are so excited for this one, like so excited. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a date, there's a date in April and there's a date in May. There's two dates in April and two dates in May. So it's going to be one of those two. And I don't know which one. And I imagine this website is going to do something because Vegas is close and we do stuff with, with double or nothing. I, I would imagine that we're going to. Yeah. I, 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 I would, I would, um, I would say it's pretty much a lock. I would go to Vegas. I don't know that I would go to WrestleMania because it's just so hard for me to actually go to the show. Um, you know, I, because it's close, I could see, I could easily see like, um, you know, leaving, you know, maybe going, maybe even going to the NXT show and then going home and watching mania that night. I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, or maybe leave that morning and try to watch everything. It's, it's tough. Maybe go, maybe go to some of the indie shows, especially if they have, you know, a lot of different promotions from around the world there, you know, that would be really fun to go to those shows. But, um, I would, I would say it's, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to the festivities but um as far as wrestlemania itself it's just, it's just too hard for me to do wrestlemania because i i would have to come home and watch it again and, and that's, that's just really hard i mean with the AEW shows it's like i always say i have to watch it again and usually i don't um but it's it's a lot easier for me to you know at, at an AEW show i'm not in a press box or well, well i mean at wembley i was but but wembley was different i was outside i wasn't inside the box in in when, when i was in san jose i'm in this enclosed and if i was going to uh an, a wwe pay-per-view i'd be inside this enclosed box i'd be watching it on a monitor it'd be on a you know 15 second delay so the the crowd noise isn't sinking <laughs> isn't sinking up the crowd noise that i hear isn't sinking up to what i'm seeing so i'm i mean i get a feel of everything but it's not the same so I have well, to why do you have to be in a box can't you just get a good ticket somewhere with my computer to take notes <laughs> well yeah you, you know i gotta use your phone yeah i guess i could use my phone yeah i mean i've, I've been doing that for years um i mean uh, I'll, I'll i'll let some people uh but i know hurt in a little bit i've i've been the recipient of yeah. uh you texting me notes about about oh, yeah shows. At, at, at pwg shows <laughs> or, or other shows yeah 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 i've done that yeah. i'm just like my phone's just going crazy i'm like looking up and it's like uh, Chucky e. T versus somebody else. And I'm like, what is going on? And I was like, oh, Dave's at PWG. And he's using uh, text messages as his notes, his yeah. notepad. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, like, uh, I, I mean, I'm pretty excited because, and so I historically, because my ex-wife and my wife have the same exact birthday, which is always WrestleMania weekend. I haven't been able to go to WrestleMania in a long time. Last one I went to was 35 in New York, but I came back uh, and that was when I was divorced. But I like I haven't been out there in a while and it, it's the, it's really uh, it seems to be ramped up as far as all the festivities. So I'm really looking forward to if they do change the date, then I can actually go this time uh, yeah. in Vegas, especially. So that'll be fun. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.